you're my girlfriend now. Let's see this clip. Oh, this is going to be fucking crazy. I know this is going to be really bad. It's going to be probably him trying to defend a predator. Let's see. This is again first year of the fucking fire and the kid sub. Let's see what this is about. You're my girlfriend now. Oh no. Callan, what are you saying? Let's see what fucking Brian Callan. Let's see what brain fucking busters Brian Callan's going to pull out here. <sighs> strap in, guys. Strap in. Well, you like, had no other choice, dude. So have you seen this? There's a Spanish football president and then uh so this woman's team won the world cup she kicked the game winning goal dude yeah <laughs> and then he just he said he was like overcome with emotion and he i'll show you the video of him kissing her i see i saw this is this a spanish thing yeah no, no. She, she just she said she didn't like it oh i don't like that either it's i mean is that spanish thing? i mean it's, it's a, a woman that's her coach. too that's her coach give me a break excuse me that's a coach, give me a break. Are you insane? By the way, to give you some background, that guy in the picture that the baldy is the head of the Spanish FA, the Spanish Football Association. Spain were playing against the women's, the England women's team in the final of the World Cup. They won. They go to collect their trophies and their medals. <laughs> right? <laughs> He's there to present the medals to the Spanish players. He then decides in the fucking heat of the moment to grab one of the players by the face and plant a kiss on her when he's so excited giving her the medal. To add context to this, he's already mentioned in the past how he's had, how he likes her. Like he's mentioned it in a jokey type of way. So that people kind of know he's always had the hots for this particular girl. Then it, on fucking in the situations, let's just grab her by force and kiss her, you know, <laughs> without her fucking permission, <laughs> which is essentially textbook sexual assault. That's textbook sexual assault, sexual harassment. Textbook. Like, you can't get anywhere far from that. It's not me being a pussy. It's not me being a fucking simp or being an apologist. That's just like, you know, it's like you walking up to a random woman in the street and kissing her in the cheek. You should go to fucking jail. <laughs> so him saying it's the coach, it's okay. It's like, no, it's not the coach. And if it was the coach, it's not okay. Because even if you think about the Simone Biles stuff, right, with the Olympic team and that guy and the shit that he did, he was a coach, wasn't he? Or he was one of the one of the people in charge. Why wasn't that okay then? Honestly, this is mind-numbingly insane. And again, put into context, this is Brian Callen, a guy that his whole career, his whole livelihood was nearly threatened because of an allegation of rape and harassment and shit. Because people kind of skirt over that. Put the rape allegation to one side. The account of him, you know, running around the fucking Uniqlo changing room, chasing some woman in fucking underwear and shit. All of that stuff is sexual harassment. The thing that Whitney Cummings spoke about, about him pulling out his piece when he's in the car. That's also sexual harassment. <laughs> and then he comes out and says this. <laughs> comes out. Get it? <laughs> but yeah, Brian Callen's a fucking... Look at his face. He's actually, this is why I say again before, what I said beforehand, and I wish I remember who said it to me, whether it's Martha or whoever it may be, big up you. But whoever told me early on when I was doing these streams, hey, these comedians aren't normal people. Like, just get that in your head. I think they were right because look at Callan's face. He actually looks perplexed. He's not, he doesn't understand why this is an issue. Why can't a coach kiss their player? Why can't the coach of a women's soccer team kiss one of their star players on the lips uninvited? Why not? I'm the coach. Why can't a, you know, an, an official of the football league do that? Like, why, why am I not allowed to do that? <laughs> Is that not my right? <laughs> Let's play the video. He just, he was just like excited. Fuck off. <laughs> Damn, calls for his resignation. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. Are you um excuse me but if you do that you should probably resign you should probably offer your resignation because of how embarrassed you are and then if they maybe want to you know educate you instead and not accept your resignation that's one thing but you should offer it as a token of how apologetic you are i think so because maybe in the moment you could do that maybe let's say imagine in the moment you grab the female soccer player's face and kissed her on the lips hardcore cool but surely if you're a decent guy and you didn't mean to come across that way, you didn't want to be a creep, you didn't want to be an abuser, you say, I'm sorry, and off your resignation. Big up, um, who's this? Big up, Matthew Escolin. No message there, but thank you for the $5 donation, brother. I appreciate you. Surely if you're a decent human, a decent man, you'd be like, you know what? I feel horrible about it. I'm mortified, but I was drunk. I was off the yak. I had a couple of bumps. 
I was doing the fucking Elon Musk ketamine, whatever. I had a couple of MDM. I had a couple of, you know, I had a bit of MDMA. I had some Molly in my drink. And you can maybe say, hey, I'm really sorry. And offer the resignation. Send the woman some money, whatever. Publicly chastise yourself. Go to fucking repent. Confession. <laughs> but these guys are like, nah, man, that's too much. <laughs> it's just some fun between the lads. <laughs> <laughs> honestly man Brian Callan is never gonna beat these allegations look at this old man's face he's actually confused look at him he's actually confused he doesn't get it <laughs> I'm kidding but I mean if that was your daughter you wouldn't like that either right if that was my weird. daughter like yeah that's weird yeah see look at the silence that's a good question good question Chin Brian can you answer that you have a daughter no Brian has a daughter that I think is a teenager now she should be a teenager kind of old i'm assuming he has two kids he has a son and a daughter please brian can you please answer the question would you be okay if your daughter's soccer coach <laughs> kissed her in the lips and he's the same age as you let's let's also say that right because that rubles guy is probably the same age as callan the head of the fa let's let's hear his reaction what does he say here or does he ignore it <clears throat> yeah you, did, did you kiss just kidding. her or everybody on the just her Oh, he didn't answer the question. <laughs> he, no, answer the question what Chin said. I want to go back to that one minute because Chin asked a really good question there. If that was your daughter, how would you feel? Please, Callan, answer this. Are you kidding? But I mean, if that was your daughter, you wouldn't like that either, right? That'd if that was my daughter, I'd be like, yeah, that's weird. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You you and Seven Dirty said, no, that guy's like 40s and she's in 19. Cool, whatever. I don't care what age they are. That's just unprofessional. That's like your boss kissing you at a staff party because oh no kissing you at a team meeting because he gave you a fucking award for being the salesperson of the year that's incredibly inappropriate like it's some in some workplaces you're not allowed to fucking hook up with your colleagues can you imagine your boss touching your bum on the way to the fucking toilets or kissing you uninvited <laughs> do you know how imp how unprofessional and how uh, much of an abuse of power that is <laughs> That's crazy. Let's continue. Yeah, did you kiss just, just her or everybody on the Just her. It's just these dumbass people. Fuck you. <laughs> their coach. Fuck you. I don't know if it's... Okay. Brendan had a good, a good reaction. Did he kiss everybody like that? Again, that's not... A, it's a fucking crazy way to justify sexual abuse. If you rape everybody in the room, then it's okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. It's a crazy way, but let's just run with Brendan's logic here. Did he do that to everybody? as like a, a form of like endearment. No, he picked out that girl in particular and gave her the kiss on the lips. And Brent, and Brian's reaction is to say, fuck you. Let's go one more time on that. Just her, everybody on the map. Just her. It's just these dumbass people. Fuck you. It's their coach. <laughs> fuck you. I don't know if it's a coach. Is it the president it's of fine. the soccer thing? It's fine. It's fine. Hey, she's fine. Everybody's you fine. No, but she says she wasn't fine, Brian. She said she wasn't fine. Doesn't that count if she says no? <laughs> but I guess oh I just I just realized it that's where the whole you're my girlfriend now comes from Brian was deciding for the girl that he was talking about he said hey you are my girlfriend now you have no right you have no fucking you know um opinion on the matter I'm making you my girlfriend so basically he is he's kind of being kind of authentic he's being who we know him to be he's the you're my girlfriend now guy so he's saying, if I give you a kiss, it's okay. <laughs> if I touch your boob, uninvited, it's fine. <laughs> if I fucking finger blast you without asking permission, it's fine. <laughs> this is a textbook creep 101 session we're in right now. Look at him. He's Please, I want you to zoom in on his face. I'm going to do it later. But look at Brian's face. He's perplexed. He does not understand why people are upset about this. He doesn't get it in the slightest. Even with an, a teenage daughter. <laughs> Even with the allegations against his name. Oh my God, this is so fascinating to watch. Big up over, clip this on the final kid, Reddit. I appreciate you. Wow, these guys are fucking insane. I made a mistake for sure. It's fine. I would accept it. You know, moment of emotion without any bad yeah. intention or bad yeah, faith. Uh, happened, talk to the people in Ukraine. They're having a hard time. Fuck off. What? Photography people in Ukraine haven't... What are you talking about? Why are you talking about Ukraine? What's Zelensky got to do with this? <laughs> what does Zelensky have to do with this? What does Slava Ukraine have to do with this? Can someone explain? 
<laughs> is there a conspiracy against people who kiss women uninvited? <laughs> the US government is pouring too much money into the war. <laughs> oh my god. To a normal um let me did she say anything she said she, she was on a live stream and then they asked her what she thought of it she goes i didn't like it that was pretty much it though fuck you <laughs> she says on live stream i didn't like it she's choosing her words carefully because if you know anything about the spanish fa they're incredibly corrupt and you know a bit backwards and shit so she's probably choosing her words carefully because she doesn't want to you know put into jeopardy her career right and which is obviously clearly an abuse of power. So she's choosing words carefully, I'm not trying to expound on it. She's not going on a big press tour. She's not doing loads of interviews because she knows it could backfire on her because now she's the, you know, flavor of the month. People are talking about it in the news, but this is Spanish stuff. So it might get swept away in a rug and you then might have to deal with the consequences back home. So she's trying to choose her words carefully. But the fact that she already said she didn't like it should be enough to put terror and fright into the hearts of normal dudes. Like, oh my God, I can't believe someone felt bad about that thing that I did, that I didn't mean to do or didn't mean to come across that way. Let me do everything in my power to make this right. Resign on the spot, publicly talk about it, admit your fault, make it right with the person personally or whatever it may be. Like go the whole way and make it clear that you are in the wrong and you overstepped and blah, blah, whatever you can do to fucking rectify the issue because it's already something fucking crazy anyway, but try your best. But these guys are here, like the guy that even, the guy that did the offense actually sounds way more um, like he's asking for forgiveness. He's way more sorry for his actions than the guys watching what he did. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. Brian, you nearly lost everything because of a rape allegation. And here you are sitting here justifying somebody kissing somebody uninvited without permission. Oh, this is crazy. I fucking love this. I'm not going to lie. Relax, Brian. No, I won't. It's so dumb. They won this. They won the fucking World Cup. He's allowed to just get carried away. Fuck off. That's her coach. I mean, even Brendan looked to him. Even Brendan gave him a look. Even Brendan went, "Bruh, <laughs> you're allowed to rape if you win." <laughs> so if you win, imagine being a woman football player right a female football player and in the back of your mind thinking if we win this cup i might get raped <laughs> it's like a double-edged sword right you win but then you might invite the un the, the advances of one of the fucking executives at your fucking football association of your country excuse me what did you say <laughs> Oh my God, Brian Callen is a world champion, World Cup winning, gold medal level, number one finisher of a fucking creep. It's certified now. I don't care what anyone says. You're never going to convince me otherwise. This guy's a bona fide creep. He doesn't even try to pretend to be like a decent person and say, you know what, this is a bad, you shouldn't do that. This is bona fide creep, bona fide creep. And again, think about this. This man has a teenage daughter. This man has a teenage daughter. <laughs> Still friends with Crystalia and excuses a random dude kissing an employee while they're at work, uninvited, <laughs> without permission. <laughs> like, wow. Oh, that's her coach. I mean, probably frowned upon you be kissed on him, but I don't no, think he should be canceled. I know. It wasn't like, uh, it was just a quick, you know, I'm going to kiss you like, like that. It is weird though, right? <laughs> that might be one of the most insane videos I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm not too sure if this is Brendan, no, Brian kind of leaning into the grift of trying to be canceled. That could be an approach if we're looking at it from a, you know, a, a, a kind of detached point of view. Is this kind of an approach to like try to get canceled? Maybe. Does he actually believe these things? Maybe. Is this what something, what Crowder told him to do? Maybe. But this is legitimately insane. <laughs> I can't believe it. 
<laughs> he was like, fuck off. Let him let him kiss her. And then, but he's the coach. Brian, he's not the coach. He's the head of the fucking Spanish FA. That's even higher than the coach. That's an abuse of power. Fuck off. It doesn't matter. Like, Brian, no, you can't do that. He, he doesn't, they, they don't know each other. Outside of her playing football, they have no personal relationship. Fuck off. They're at work. Fuck off. Let him do <laughs> He's actually leaning into it. Look at him. Look how conf look look how confused. Look how confused Bri Brian Callan is. I keep telling you. Look at look at him. Look how confused he is. He doesn't get it. He doesn't fucking get it. Let me like let me scroll through around. Look look at him. He doesn't get it. He's rolling his eyes. He doesn't understand why this is why this is a problem. <laughs> big up Austin Callan Casey. with the mental gymnastics. Yo, big up Austin Casey. Appreciate you. Yeah, the mental gymnastics is crazy, but honestly, I can't. This this is fucking surprised me, man. Exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. Uche Brian's the kind of guy to hunt men for sport. Oh my god, big up Austin Casey. Appreciate you the ten dollars, brother. Um, wow, that's that that was fucking interesting. He's really leaning into the fucking creep, rape, a uh, rapist, alleged fucking allegations out there in it. Fucking hell, Brian, bro. Even he even he even shocked Brendan. Brendan couldn't understand what he was fucking seeing or what he was hearing. He was like, excuse me? Look at him. He's perplexed. <laughs> I'm going to use that screenshot. Brian is confused <laughs> that men just can't go up to random women and just kiss them. <laughs> he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. Honestly, man. Fucking psycho. Like, I, let's actually, honestly, let me just take one good, because I do remember... She walks up to him. They're both hugging each other. He's holding her by her face. And then he starts, he just like plants a kiss on her. He could have kissed her on her cheek. He could have kissed her on her forehead. Even those things are overstepping the mark, especially when it comes to women sports. I think, you know, it's, it's like you can't, you can slap men in a bum, but you can't go and slap a woman in a bum that's playing basketball if you're a male coach. You have to kind of watch your fucking P's and Q's. So I even think a kiss on the cheek is a bit much on the forehead, but you could have done that. He goes for the fucking kiss on the lips because he wants to kiss on the lips. So let's let's go for it one moment. Cause, and then plus the context of it, this Spanish FA guy has already made it known that he likes this girl, like in a jokey, ha-ha, not so jokey way. Like he's made it, it's kind of a running joke that he kind of is into her. Let's do it one more. This is it. Spanish FA, President Kiss. Yeah, it's, it's already on here, right? Let's see. Make sure that I'm not fucking freaking out here. I'm not being a fucking, you know, I'm not making, let's, uh, let's actually look at the videos. Look at the reactions. Look at the reactions here, right? Most people, should you always ask for consent for a kiss? Look at the headlines. Rubles kisses the Je Jenny Hermoso. Like everyone's basically, Look, this their arrogance knows no bounds. Will Spanish FA and Rubles step down? He still hasn't stepped down yet. Angry reaction after Spanish soccer leader was kissed a woman at the World Cup in the mouth. Like everybody's reacting to it the same way, but Brian, nah, it's all good. Let's actually see the video. And don't get me wrong. Let's rally the troops and defend this guy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, big up Stinger. I appreciate you. It's like he rallied the troops. Oh my god, yeah, rally the troops. So this is what Brendan meant. Brendan meant he wanted his Brendan meant he wanted his very rich and successful comedian friends to put their mansions and their expensive cars and their wife's livelihood and their pet and their kids' private schools on the lines to defend him and Cristalia. That's what he actually meant. Let's be um charitable and say Spain, right? Mediterranean country. They're very touchy feely. They're a lot more affectionate by nature. They have the whole kissing the cheeks and stuff when you're not when you're greeting somebody. They maybe hug more, but still, in this warm embrace of somebody winning the World Cup, she's hugging him back here. This is okay, right? It was a consensual hug. Everything's going well here, right? No problem whatsoever. You're hugging. You're whispering into her ear. Oh my God, you're fucking amazing. Well done great shot i knew you would do it well done girl keep going yes you must be so proud you're just giving her words of encouragement then you face off each other you're holding her by the side of your head like you know what you're fucking amazing right this this way this is what should have happened you're fucking amazing well done enjoy your night you'd fucking deserve it that's where it should stop you give her a fucking intense like you fucking deserve this you're a fucking beast well fucking done you smashed it you give her head a little shake yeah and you let, you let her on her way. Because she's already, look, she's loosening her hands from his waist. 
She's be- she's starting to go now. She's kind of backing off, right? She's doing the old the girl thing. What they when girls are not comfortable, they do the old snake. She's kind of bending her her back, right? Like, hey, uh, you know, maybe chill out with the looking in my eyes. Shit. He sees her. She gives him a little curtsy pat on the side, like, hey, let go of my head. <laughs> This is um, this girl is Rogan. This is Joe Rogan. He's completely turned the other way. He's got his head in the sand. This is fucking Joe Rogan. This is basically this girl represents Joe Rogan. She's she's completely look, looking the other way. <laughs> she has no idea what's going on. That's Rogan right there, right? So he's got her head in a fucking vice. You remember in school, or if you guys are handymen, or if you guys have fucking tall rooms or fucking, you know what a vice is, right? A vice to fucking hold a piece of wood or material to fucking cut it. He's got a head like a fucking vice, right? He's grabbing her little Spanish head, right? Her little fucking pequeño head, right? He's grabbing this fucking chica by the head, shaking her, right? And staring into her eyes. He's got his fucking um, Vicks on. He's got his Carmex on those fucking thin Spanish lips of his. And she's like bending backwards like, hey guy, leave me alone a little bit, right? Let's go frame by frame. He looks into her eyes and she's probably feeling it. It's coming, but it's too late now because you're so close. Like she could probably feel it. Like girls, I think women have an intuition. Is this guy trying to fuck? Is this guy trying to finger blast me? Is this guy want me to sit on his lap? Is this, is this guy like pulling, is his arms going down my back? Like women have an intuition. They know Wagwan. So she's already probably feeling oh fuck he's gonna fucking kiss me isn't he he's gonna fucking kiss me she's already feeling it right he looks at her he stares in the eyes and now his fingers aren't in the vice anymore he's he, he hasn't got the he hasn't got the neutral i'm a sportsman you're a sportswoman this is encouragement shake he's now doing the fucking that hand is now coming just behind her head it's now becoming a bit central he's cupping the back of her head right He's cupping the back of her head. He's now bringing it in like, you look so beautiful right now. You look so beautiful in that kit. Like he's kind of doing that sort of shit. That's what he's doing now, right? The hand is the back of her head. He's looking at her, looking at her. She's like, oh my God. And then as the hand is at the back of the head, look at this frame. He pulls her into him and then he pulls his face into her. Look at that. And then she's like, just with her hands out, just standing there. And he now plants a kiss on there. And I bet you, if you asked him, most likely she didn't kiss him back. He just forced her face into his lips. So that wasn't even a kiss. <laughs> he forced her face into his lips. You know, sometimes when you have like a, a niece or a nephew or a little brother and they're a baby and they don't like being kissed and they kind of move their face around. It's like you force their face into your Like, come here, you fucking little shit. That's what he did. He forced her face into his lips. <laughs> Essentially, this is kiss rape. <laughs> this is like a form of rape. But it's a kiss one, like you know, because the other rape you force yourself into somebody. This is a force you're forcing their face into your face. So he kissed the raper actually. And look, Rogan is still not looking. <laughs> Rogan doesn't know what's going on. Rogan's interviewing fucking M- Mike fucking Baker. He's not saying he's saying sentences, but not saying anything. <laughs> he's just staring. <laughs> he's interviewing duncan trussell and he's talking about fucking love and relationships and shit and polyamory <laughs> he just <laughs> rogue is not paying attention whatsoever while <laughs> callan is out here raping fucking Addie lederman whoever else this might be next frame we continue he kisses her right on the lips she doesn't kiss him back that's what i can see from here her hands are still kind of away then now he's he's look his hand look his hand guys look at the hand the hand is so at the back now that he's forcing her head towards him look at her back her look at her back it's arched he's forcing the back of her head into him that her back is now being arched cool they're still kissing it goes on he kisses her look and look at her arms see i told you she's not into it bro look at the hands she's now got her hands out like hey bro this is a lot She's trying to like, now it's kind of clicking in her head what's happening. Oh my God. She's trying to fucking get away and give him the signal and he's still kissing because she didn't kiss him back because if she would have kissed him back, he would have continued kissing her. He would have fucking started fucking giving her the old, the old R&B. 
I mean, he would have started giving a little left, right, left, right, left, right. He would have fucking went for it. So the fact that this didn't happen is because she pulled away. Her hands are to the side now. Then she pulls away. Now she's pulling away. She pulls her head back a little bit, jolts, gives herself some space. Like a good fucking striker or a winger, she makes a bit of movement, right? She, she fucking does a little move and gets a bit of space there. And now he realizes what he did and he pulls back and tries to look her again and reset it, but it's too late. She's, she's probably giving him the eyes of like, she's probably doing this, like, uh, dude, that was weird. That was creepy. You kind of kiss raped me. <laughs> yeah. Now he's regretting it. He lets her go. He tries to make a joke about it. She pats him again one more time. And now she's walking. Before he even can let go of her head, she's now stepping to the side. She's like, no more. No more rape kisses, please. And then... Crash, appreciate the $1 super chat, brother. Rogan looking away while Dana hands out 360 <laughs> exactly. deals. Exactly, that's Rogan. The free, exactly. The, the, that could be the new meme. Rogan, 360 deals. Rogan, Brian Cannon, his best friend of 20 years and rape allegations. <laughs> Rogan, Brendan Shaw documentaries on YouTube. Rogan, how everyone thinks of Brendan. Like, this could be a meme. This could literally be a meme. Like, Brendan, <laughs> Rogan looking the other way. Oh my god. Rogan, um, all the fucking allegations against Ron DeSantis or some shit, right? Like he's just looking the other way. He doesn't know what happens. <laughs> Look. And then she walks away and then she's finally not into it. That she didn't like that in the slightest. And he's kind of regretting it. He's got the face, he's got the kind of face of a guy of somebody that regrets his decision. So Brian Callen defending this is fucking crazy. But again. Oh, these fucking guys are absolutely insane, man. I fucking love this. Man. What a fucking incredible thing to check out. Callan defending a rape kisser is fucking brilliant. 